So upon startup of the app for your laptop and getting this hooked up and everything online, the first thing that's going to do, which I've already done, I didn't have a chance to catch it because it just took off on me, the machine will zero out all its accesses to zero, X, Y, and Z. So to make sure when you have this set up, you don't have anything too close to the front of it yet, not anything too far behind it either, to make sure that you don't have anything obstructing your x-axis at the top right there before you hit the button because I was in the other room and all of a sudden everything started moving and I was like ah and I ran in here it was fine but <laughs> kind of gave me a little bit of a jump so we have our first piece that we have loaded in the software we've made the g-code we sent it to the workspace loaded it up enabled the connection to the machine we're going to say, do you want to start the job now? Because it gives you a notification to make sure that what you're doing on the laptop is okayed in the area. It's a good safety precautionary measure. We're going to go ahead and select yes. And this is uh, Great Lakes Standing. This is a silhouette of Michigan and the Upper Peninsula. Estimated time is an hour and 24 minutes. I hope it doesn't take that long because this thing is like the size of a quarter. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and hit start. Also, if you see a lot of Michigan stuff, Michigan, this is the Thumb State. Hence the reason this channel is called Thumb FPV, in case you guys didn't pick up on that. We're going to hit start. Not too sure exactly what we're waiting on here. Move the camera a little bit. Seems that the bed itself is taking a little minute to heat up here. I may turn parts of this into a time lapse video. I may just cut and edit pieces out of it because this is going to take way too long to sit there and watch. Nobody wants to do all that. But this is what's going on right now. The bed is heating up. The nozzle's already at temp. Work speed, 30 millimeters per second. So far, we're at two minutes. We're at 58 degrees on the bed temp. Overall time on this is estimated to be at an hour and 27 minutes. This thing definitely uh, takes a minute to heat up. 69 degrees. This thing is very precise. Yeah, we just spit out a whole bunch of PLA up the side over here, gave itself a little purge all on its own. And that is not going to work. We're going to have to pause this. Okay, so following the instructions, we went through. It did its passes around the board. At the very last one, you want to stick the card under it. It's going to come down, and you want to have it wait there. And then when it's done calibrating itself, you take, use the arrows on the teach pendant, bring it down until it's snug to the point where the card will actually wrinkle when you're pushing on it. Hit save, and that's supposed to calibrate all the points into one. So we've done that. Let's go ahead and see now if we can get something to print up here. Once we have something on the hand hit, handheld device, let's go ahead and hit it again. And you hit start. So I'm going to set this down and we're going to see what happens.
everything's got to zero out first, so everything's going to go home, home, home. Thankfully enough, now everything else is heating up in the process of doing this. I thought I had done it right the first time. Maybe I missed something up. See here in a second. Nozzle temp is at 159, 165. The bed is at 45. So we're almost there. Two oh two and forty eight. Two oh two and fifty. Two oh four fifty five fifty six. Two oh five and sixty one. Sixty two. Three minutes and thirty seconds. 205, 65, 204, and 68. Two degrees left on the heated bed to go. <clears throat> Looking at five minutes. I am going to cut some chunks out of this video, though, just so you know, to make up for all of the nothing in between all right we're getting some feet out here hopefully this is money and it is we have a first layer in process now's attempt 204 varying back and forth between 205 work speed right now is at 10 millimeters per second heated bed temp 50 we're going to a high 51 right now elapsed time is 16 minutes and 30 seconds at 13% complete. Alright, we're at 18%. One hour and 13 minutes left. Nozzle temp still at 205. Work speed 10 millimeters per second. The heated bed temperature is regulated now to 50%. Elapsed time 21 minutes 36 seconds. All right, overall we're at supposedly an hour and eight minutes of time remaining. Nozzle temperature still the same at 205. Heated bed temperature still the same at 50. Work speed is now slowed down to 10 millimeters per second, which is way down from what it was. Elapsed time, 26 minutes, 43 seconds. This is what I'm seeing. I'm going to show you real quick on the screen. Very nice setup on how they did this. If I ever needed another product like this, I would definitely, without a second thought, buy a second one of these. This thing is right out of the box amazing. So after 37 minutes and 58 seconds, so after 38 minutes with a work speed of 15 millimeters per second, nozzle temperature is at 204 out of 205. Heated bed temperature is 50 out of 50. There is 39% of the print completed with 54 minutes and 10 seconds left of the print. So we are at 46%. 48 minutes and 2 seconds left, 205 and 205 is still for the nozzle temp, 49 and 50 on the heated bed temp, work speed's at 40 millimeters per second now, the lapse time is 43 minutes and 35 seconds. 
So as we're sitting right now, we are at 65% of the completion rate for this print. There is 29 minutes and 25 seconds left. The temperature is still the same for the nozzle at 205 and 205. The heated bed temperature is still the same, set to 50, bouncing back and forth between 49, 50, and 51. Little variance right there, but not a lot. Work speed is set 15 millimeters per second at this point in time. Just dropped down to 10 for some reason, and then back to 15 again. Uh, total elapsed time as I'm taking this right now is 58 minutes and 50 seconds. We're now at 75% completion for this print. 21 minutes left. Nozzle temperature still the same, 205. Work speed is at 60 millimeters per second. The heated bed temperature is at 51, set over 50. Elapsed time for this print so far is one hour and six minutes. So we are at 7 eighths completion of this first print on the Snapmaker. Um, temperature overall seems to stay pretty consistent, plus or minus a degree. That goes for the nozzle temp and the he heated bed temp. Work speed right now is at 20 millimeters per second. Elapsed time, 1 hour and 15 minutes. We have 1 eighth of the way to go and this print is done. I'm going to take and I'm going to record the whole entire last percent and include it in this video just because I want to see exactly how this machine finishes the print. So here we are, literally down to the last 1% of this print, 48 seconds remaining, temperatures for nozzle and bed are within 1 degree plus or minus, work speed right now is at 20 millimeters per second, elapsed time 1 hour 26 minutes. And there's an estimated time of 30 seconds left. So let's see how this plays out real quick. I want to see exactly what goes home, what goes where, what is left to travel. Does the bed go back? Does it go forward? Does the x-axis go halfway up? Does it go all the way up? Where does the y-axis go? Just all the variables. I'm really interested to see how this ends on the way the print stops. Fourteen seconds. <clears throat> Eight seconds. Four seconds. And this should be done. Three, two, one. All right, so we have the table. Comes to the front. Everything else travels exactly all the way back up home. The way that it started. So, remember this when a print is continued, if you happen to move something, whatever, everything will be in the absolute zero slash home orientation of the way that this print started prior to you doing it. Y bar is going to be all the way up. Z axis is going to be all the way up. This is all the way to the left. Also, I said that backwards. Z axis is going to be all the way up. X axis is going to be all the way to the left home. Y axis is going to be all the way to the front. And that's how the print will end. What we're looking at right here is a little thumb FPV keychain. I'm going to have this up on my website soon if you'd like to get one for yourself support the channel for a few dollars that'd be great if not that's fine I make my own money but this is the end of the first print for the Snapmaker 2.0 beginning to end thanks for watching hope you enjoy this we'll have another video up soon